Good morning, good morning. I hope everyone's having a beautiful Thursday morning. Uh, it's Kindness Week here in uh, Women with Altitude and I'm um, sure that as we've gone through this week, you've had the opportunity to really uh, reflect on who you are and how you want to be um, perceived in the world and how you would like the world to um, respond to you, right, and how you would like the world to be created because we are in every moment given the opportunity to choose how we would like to interact with the world, whether we would like to interact with the world in um a way that doesn't serve yourself or anyone else or whether we're going to make a huge difference to somebody else's life, to ourselves, because as we know, when we share, when we serve, when we be um, kind, when we, when we give love, that just generally, um, you know, reciprocates to ourselves. It fills our cup. And so... To be in that place, to be in a place of beautiful, peaceful um, connection with others and serving and being kind and, and loving on others, first of all, you have to have that within yourself. And one of the things that's a bit of a challenge for us as humans <laughs> is that we tend to be conditioned into survival mode. And so we have all of these patterns within our um, programming that puts ourselves down, that um, creates limitations and sabotages our, um, our very essence of wanting to expand and explore and be more and at the best version of ourselves, right? And so um, I'm just going to check to see if I'm on. I hope I'm on. I'm hoping that I'm on here because I'm just checking to see. Oh, yes, I am. Awesome. And so uh, those sabotaging beliefs can um, cause us to go into our little self, our small version of ourselves, the part of us that's got a name and, um, and thinks of us ourselves as an individual and then interprets the world as that individual instead of knowing ourselves as this beautiful, expansive being that has limitless um, potential. So the first part of being kind is being kind to yourself and being aware of when you may have those limitations, those sabotage beliefs come in, knowing that all of us do that, uh, all of us um, are in the process of moving out of, you know, problem solving our lives and being in a beautiful creative process in our lives and, um, and expanding into more of ourselves, more of our um, ability to share the wisdom and the love and, and the expression that we've chosen to be here on, the, on this planet this time around, um, if, if um, that's what you believe in. But we're, we're definitely here to be more than what we're actually allowing ourselves to be. So I'm going to run you through a meditation where or a visualisation so that we can um, look at clearing anything that no longer serves us so that we can give of ourselves more to, um, to shine that light and to be of service to other people. So let's get started. I'm just going to put on some music. So hopefully that music's um, at a nice level. If I can get someone just to let me know. 
if you can just gently close your eyes and tune into the music. Take in a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And just relaxing. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Just feeling your body relaxing, giving yourself permission to be in this moment. Letting everything else drift away. I want you to imagine that you can feel and experience and see this beautiful ball of white light above your head, about an inch above your head. This beautiful ball of white light is your very essence. It's full of wisdom, love, appreciation, innocence. And just imagine that that ball of white light has this beautiful beam of white light coming down, down into the top of your head. And that white light is starting to focus down into your body, down through your spine. Going all the way down, down to the tip of your spine, down your legs, down your arms and imagine that it's coming out through the palms of your hands and you can feel your hands warming up and you can feel the weight of energy in your hands and that energy, that beautiful white light is flooding your body and then coming back up through your feet and your hands and going back up to that beautiful ball of white light, that beautiful wisdom. And there's this beautiful energy of love, divinity circling through your body. Feel that energy expanding. You can feel that energy touching every single cell of your body. It's expanding, this energy is expanding within you and you can feel this white light coming out through your body. And there's this beautiful ball of energy all the way around you. And this beautiful ball of white light energy is expanding even more. And you find yourself drifting away.
drifting to the side of the ocean. You can feel the waves of water at your feet. And you can also experience this beautiful ball of white light. You can feel yourself as a light being. And as you look at the water, you can see the sparkles of white light coming off the tips of the waves. And you recognize that you are one with everything that's around you. You can feel the water. You can feel the sand. You can feel the essence of energy throughout your body. You can feel this merging of this energy. You can feel your energy merging with the energy of the planet of Earth. And as you stand in this position, Imagine that beautiful energy is coming out through your heart and particles of love, gratitude, appreciation are spreading all the way through, going out from your heart, out and touching everything that's in reach. You can feel your strength and your empowerment and that you have the ability to move this, accelerate this energy effortlessly. It moves out from your body and it's limitless. You can just share all this love, appreciation, gratitude, and spread it over the whole world. And as you do this, you can feel all of this love energy coming back. You can feel the give and take and flow and ease of how the world really works. And you can feel yourself, you can see yourself being filled with love. You see the cycle. You see how easy it is that when you give, you receive. And you receive, you give. And that with this beautiful, wise clarity, you understand what real abundance is. So when you're ready, just take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And reconnect with that beautiful white light that's above your head. Allowing that energy to dissipate into your body, feeling yourself full fulfilled, satiated, ready to take the day on, ready to take the week on, ready to take the month, the year, the continuation of your life. You'll feel some 
urge to do something, there's going to be an obvious step for you to take. Just take a moment to feel that beautiful, obvious step. It will just come to you. And take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. So I hope you um, got some value out of that and enjoyed that for the start of your day. When you are in that beautiful balance, when you're aligned with who you truly are, when you are being the biggest and best version of yourself, kindness just naturally flows from you. Love, appreciation, gratitude just naturally flows from you. And you just naturally receive it back. And you can receive it back without any um, feelings that feelings of limitation that you don't deserve it in some way. You're honoured, you feel humble and blessed and you just go with the cycle, the cycle of life. Enjoy your day and... For those that I haven't had the pleasure of meeting, I forgot to tell you, my name is Elizabeth Eleanor. Uh, I'm a spiritual warrior and I um, run, um, facilitate Women of Light Movement Facebook group. So if you'd like to join that group, we'd be more than welcome to have you. And um, I'd love for you to um, get in contact if you choose to. And... Looking forward to um, hearing any comments in the um, thread, how you experience that and what you um, what your obvious next step is. Take care, everyone. <laughs>